everybody knows these beautiful white buildings in Cowiesville, the home of the Deutsche Schule Durban. Both my children attended kindergarten and primary school here, the home of the German community in these parts. And we've experienced many happy hours here with our friends and the greater German community. And today Peter Depper, the headmaster here at the Deutsche Schule, will take us on a tour of the school. Hello and welcome to the Deutsche Schule Durban. This is a beautiful campus of ours. It uh, is in Cowies Hill in Westville and uh, it really is a, a beautiful spot and one that we are very grateful to have and for us to be able to teach the 140 odd pu uh, pupils that we've got at our beautiful school. We are a primary school. We cater for children from the age of 18 months all the way through to grade 7. Um, but we do it as an alternative curriculum school in that we offer German as our main language. Um, and the exciting thing is that we are able to accommodate children even from non-German families, provided that they come to us at a young enough age for us to be able to teach them German. Um, and from there they carry on through our school system all the way to grade 7 before heading off into the various local high schools where they continue their education having received, we believe, a very solid foundation at our beautiful campus. So please come and have a look around. We'd love to show you what we are all about. Come again in, in kindergarten. So this is our, our kindergarten courtyard. We have uh, four classes in our kindergarten. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Was macht ihr, Jungs? Müsst ihr balancieren. Hello, Holly. Was machst du? Ein Wanderweg. Fühlst du schön? Es ist schön sonnig heute, ne? Okay, so we currently have about uh, 50 children in our, in our kindergarten across the, the four classes. As I mentioned, the toddler group or the Schmetterlinge, which is uh, children who are still in nappies. This is a new dynamic for us as a school. We never had nappies before and uh, something new to deal with, but it's been a wonderful addition to our school. And from there, they migrate into one of the two kindergarten classes behind me. Uh, they've got this lovely playground. To, to play in and uh, from there they would then go into grade R before heading off into the big school and uh, uh, all of our kindergarten teaching is done in German, conducted in German, the teachers uh, speak only German to the kids so that even those from non-German families are able to, to learn it very much in a play environment and through repetition and uh, if they have a long enough time in our school they can, they can definitely pick up the German very easily at a young age which allows them to then uh, be enrolled in grade one where they will continue uh, learning German at a, at a very high level. Hello Brendan. Hello, Brendan. We're also very excited about this uh, lovely new addition to our playground infrastructure, a lovely jungle gym. This will serve the dual purpose of giving our, our children something to play on at break, especially the younger ones. And uh, secondly, we are, we are hoping to use it as a, as a venue on weekends for, for birthday parties. It's right here on the edge of the field. There's a beautiful big sports field which could be used for soccer and football games. And then this uh, multi-level jungle gym that the kids can explore. And our, our aim really is to turn it into a jungle gym for the trees and the greenery to grow all around it. And for whoever plays on it to really feel that they are in the jungle as they, as they explore the different parts and levels of it. It's been constructed by one of our, our past parents, Mr. Ntlantlat Lamini, who has uh, come with his team of experts and constructed it for us. So we've had some, some very exciting developments over the last couple of years, most notably our new building, which you can see in the distance there. It's on stilts, which allows us uh, some room for further developments in, in years to come. But at the moment that accommodates our grade R and grade 1 classes and freed up space for our, our toddler group as, as discussed earlier. So that has been a major uh, change to our, to our school profile and one that we are enormously excited about. Uh, just panning down here, Holger recently also introduced some, some new grandstands. Uh, we didn't have those before. Shaded seating, this is a gift from our most recent grade 7 class to the school and uh, a wonderful place to now sit and watch, watch some sport. Always amazed at the number of people that come and see the school for the first time. When they drive past, they see the beautiful white buildings but don't realize that it's actually a school. And when they do come inside, they're even more surprised when they see that there's a lovely sports field just beyond all of this. So at the moment down there, we've got our, our grade seven class doing some, some athletics. We try and do as many of the mainstream sports as we can. Obviously in the context of a, of a small school, we, we need to 
uh, adapt accordingly and so we don't have age group teams but we have seniors and seniors and juniors and we participate in a number of, of traditional mainstream sports. Our kids swim, uh, Kainan School just across the road or just over the hill in fact um, are very kind to us and allow us to use their pool for training. We play hockey boys and girls, we play uh, football boys and girls, we do athletics and we also do do um, netball for the girls and cricket for the boys. So in recent years we've tried to take our, our sporting program a whole lot more seriously and a number of years ago we got coach Bronwyn Ray involved. Uh, Bronwyn has the play ball franchise for Westville and has definitely added a, a new edge to the the sporting program that we can offer here at the DSD. I mentioned earlier the various sporting codes that we are able to participate in, albeit with uh, small numbers, but that doesn't mean that we aren't keen and aren't eager to take part. And uh, our beautiful field has been used on many afternoons before for the hosting of various football and netball tournaments. And uh, we take part in as many fixtures as we possibly can. And so we really do try and up the, the profile of our sporting teams and uh, you will see us on, on the sporting fields of local schools in the, in the area whenever the opportunity presents itself. So being a small school we only have 11 classes and 11 classrooms. Um, this here is the, the senior phase of our school, the grade 5, 6s and 7s. We also have a, a beautifully stocked school library and a multi-purpose room which is currently being used by one of our classes because uh, with social distancing requirements under COVID conditions we've had to do that. But other than that, we would have had uh, each of these little buildings occupied by a particular class. We average about 14 kids per classroom, 14 children per classroom. And uh, so our classes are small. And uh, it does mean that, that the teachers really get to know the children intimately and can spend a lot of time work working on their and focusing on their particular needs. So the school is also very fortunate to have two beautiful VW crafter buses. Uh, many years ago, before we had these, we had a, a yellow one, which was a, a very well-known institution in Durban, I believe. It was called Dagelba Blitz, or Yellow Lightning. And uh, many people saw our bus on the road and, and knew about the school because of it. And we trust and we hope that our, our new buses are, are equally well-known. Perhaps not because of their bright yellow colour, but because they would be seen all over the streets of the Greater Durban area. Currently, we have a bus service that um, fetches kids from, from Mflunga Rocks. Um, and if the demand is sufficient, we have a second bus which would also go up into the highway area, collecting from Kloof and Hillcrest. Um, although at the moment uh, that bus is not, not running, but uh, the facility is there should, should the need arise. So this here is our, our school library, which is very well stocked with uh, reading books and uh, readers for, for mainly German and English. But we have a growing collection of Afrikaans and, and Zulu books as well. Uh, we are very proud of our library and uh, our librarian puts in a lot of effort to, to consistently update and provide the books that, that the young uh, learners are, are wanting to read and are looking after. And we are very excited that so many of our children love reading and regularly come in here a few times a week, collect books, exchange books and are avid readers. So our school is classified as an alternative curriculum school, meaning that we do not need to necessarily follow the curriculum that other primary schools in the area are, are bound to. Um, we teach in German and we do so throughout our kindergarten and in grade one and grade two where the medium of instruction is exclusively in German. In grade three we introduce English as a subject for the first time. In grade four we introduce Afrikaans and then there is a major change in grade five when our children uh, switch into being taught mainly in English predominantly in English. All their subjects are taught in English, geography, science, history, maths and so on. But we also introduce Zulu as a, as a subject in, in grade five. The reason for this change is simply to equip our kids for, for local high schools. Um, they, we follow very loosely the CAPS curriculum and ensure that the work that we cover is, is very similar to what is covered in other schools. So when they do get to high school, the transition into local speak, uh, English speaking high schools is as seamless and as effortless as, as possible. And the feedback that we get from high schools is always incredibly positive about how well our kids adjust and how well they've been prepared. And so, yeah, very simply, so mainly in German, all our, all our teaching up to the point of grade five, after which we switch into English but we teach German and English at first language level for those three years, grade five, grade six, and grade seven. My name is Ruth Atkinson. I'm teaching at the DSD. When 
you are finished with grade 7 at our school and you're going to other schools, um, we still continue with German lessons in the evening classes on a Monday evening from 5 to 7 for grade 8 to grade 12. Um, it takes place during the school terms every Monday evening and um, in grade 8 we um, do the DSD 1 which is a language diploma 1 and in grade 11 we do DSD 2 which is also a language diploma 2 and with that you will be able to go to university in German. So music is also a very important part for us here at the DSD. All our children in grade 1, 2 and 3 go and have recorded lessons which are offered here at school and they will learn basic uh, note notation and uh, finger grips on, on recorders. It helps with their dexterity and all sorts of other skills. But in addition to that, I think German people love music and so do we at the school. And we have many, many gifted musicians within our school and uh, various opportunities for our children to showcase their musical talents. We are also incredibly proud of the fact that we have two orchestras in the school, a senior orchestra made up mainly of grade five, six and seven children and a junior orchestra made up of grade threes and fours. And they often perform at various functions here at school and even sometimes outside of the school. And many of our children are members of the KZN Youth Orchestra and uh, are able to, to, to play at a very high level and perform at a very high level. And so we are really grateful to that. So the DSD is uh, a Christian school. We operate along Christian pr uh, principles and on a Wednesday morning we have a group of local pastors and Sunday school teachers who come in and teach our children. Uh, this starts off with an assembly in the hall followed by a scripture lesson as the first lesson of the day every Wednesday morning. And that is from the toddler group all the way through to, to grade 7. We have weekly assemblies at which we sing Christian hymns and we say a prayer in the mornings before we go into the lessons for the day. So I think one of the things that also sets us apart from many other schools, I'm very grateful to say, is just the incredible support that we get from our parents. They, they take a very active interest in, in the lives of their children and in the activities of the school. And we are super blessed and super fortunate to have parent input at so many different functions. We, ha we host an, an enormous Christmas market each year and our parent body really gets stuck in and they, they work hard to make it happen. But uh, lots of other functions in the course of the year we are very, very fortunate to have uh, parents who take such an active interest and get involved in all our functions, which makes uh, our lives much easier, but also certainly adds a lot of gloss and, and quality to, to what we are able to offer. And so we are super grateful that our parent body gets stuck in as it does. Being a small school, there is also a very intimate school community and people get to know each other. And uh, we as a school can only benefit uh, from that. And we, we certainly do. So we are an independent school. We are accredited to ISASA, the Independent Schools Association of Southern Africa. We are fully accredited by Umalusi. As I said, we are a small school, but we are not sponsored in any way by either the South African or by the German governments. Our costs are covered largely by school fees, with the balance being made up of a trust, which has been established with many sponsors from Germany uh, who contribute towards the running of our school. Um, and they, they subsidize our fees to an extent, which makes it uh, a little bit more affordable for, for parents who send their kids to us. So I trust that you've enjoyed this uh, short tour of our, our beautiful school. Uh, please feel free to contact us and uh, we'd be very honored to, to show you around in more detail if, if uh, you would like us to do that. But uh, we are really proud of, of our facility, of our children, the teachers who work hard to make it all happen. And uh, we might be a small school, but we like to think that we have a lot of influence and that we really prepare our kids well for, for the future. The feedback from local high schools is always incredibly positive when our children arrive in grade eight, and it's something we are proud of and something that we are striving very hard to make sure that we continue that into the future. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we hope to see you on our campus one day. Thank you.